Does your network know the difference between important web traffic like online meetings and lower priority traffic like games or streaming media? Your security solution might block entire categories of content, such as gambling or pornography. But how do you control everything else? Packet Shaper gives you content-aware control of today's web-integrated WAM, and today we are going to show you how. In today's world, network bandwidth and application performance issues are common on wide area network and internet links. There are many times when demand for bandwidth exceeds the capacity of the link. The impact is just like a traffic jam. Business process is slow and productivity stops. It frustrates end users who are trying to get their work done and it costs the organization valuable time and money. Existing network infrastructure, routers and switches, just aren't intelligent enough to make the decision of what applications and business processes are more important. It's no secret that applications are moving to the web, but it's not certain that most people really understand the scope or the implications of this shift. We actually go a step further and say that the web is the platform. HTTP and SSL often now make up 50 to 75% of total traffic, up from maybe 25% just a few years ago. We all know that critical business applications are web enabled, and more and more are offered across the internet as software as a service. And you may also understand that recreational traffic is exploding. What most people haven't really thought about is the line between, which is also exploding. The blurry gray area of things like web-based email, chat, web browsing, and even video. Now, the Packet Shaper is taking a quantum leap that really addresses this new set of issues. The Packet Shaper is the only solution that understands that application and content are intrinsically linked in this web-based world that we live in today. Does your network know the difference between important web traffic like online meetings and lower priority traffic like games or streaming media? Your security solution might block entire categories of content, such as gambling or pornography, but how do you control everything else? Identify and classify applications, web content, and web threats. Monitor performance in real time, and gather the evidence you need to solve performance issues. By now you know what the Packet Shaper can do for your organization. Identify applications and internet content, troubleshoot network issues, and ensure your organization operates at peak efficiency. Let's take a closer look at the Shaper in action. Packet Shaper's traffic discovery feature detects and identifies the traffic running on a network and automatically creates traffic classes for each application, service, or protocol that it discovers. These classes are organized into a class tree. For example, if you want to measure distinct response times for SAP and Oracle, then your traffic tree must distinguish SAP from Oracle traffic and have separate classes for each. Or, if you want to allocate set amounts of bandwidth to your Paris and London offices, then your tree must separate Paris traffic from London traffic and have separate classes for each. While many applications or devices can identify traffic on well-known ports, the Packet Shaper is application-aware and goes beyond classification by port number. For example, video streams can be embedded within HTTP and generally could be categorized as web traffic on port 80. However, the Shaper is able to differentiate video traffic, such as YouTube and Netflix, from other web traffic. Additionally, many services follow the same path and utilize port 80 and 443 to deliver content, applications, and services from the internet. With the integration of WebPulse, the Shaper can use this technology to classify traffic and identify tens of millions of websites and hosts, including malicious traffic from malware and phishing sources. To get a live view of your environment, point your browser to the Shaper to see the dashboard. The Blue Coat Sky Dashboard tab displays several real-time graphs that allow you to get a picture of the type of traffic running on your network, as well as the current link utilization. The dashboard displays the following graphs. Top 10 Classes Pie Charts. This shows the relative portions of bandwidth allocated to the 10 most active classes on the network in real time, refreshed every few seconds. The pie chart on the left represents inbound traffic, while the chart on the right represents outbound traffic. The Shaper can help quickly identify and display traffic consuming the most bandwidth that may be creating issues on your network, such as YouTube, peer-to-peer, -peer, or other recreational use of the internet. Top 10 Hosts Pie Charts. Click the Hosts button to see the names of the 10 users or IP addresses consuming the most bandwidth. The Packet Shaper can identify people based on their active directory name, 
providing deeper insight into your network usage and user behavior. Link Utilization Line Graphs. These show the inbound and outbound links bandwidth usage in bits per second. The graphs are updated every second. The graph initially shows utilization data for the last three minutes. After a period of time, the x-axis scale converts to display the last 15 minutes of data. You can save the dashboard in PDF, JPEG, or PNG formats. Located in the top pane of the Traffic Management tab, the Class Tree displays a snapshot of the current activity for traffic classes, partitions, and policies. You can select one or more classes in the tree, and then use the Reports module to create real-time or historical reports for those classes. Or select classes and use the Policy Manager to delete or modify the classes, or apply policies to the selected classes. Class, the names of the traffic class. Direction indicates the direction of the traffic the class is monitoring. DSCP, the configured diff serve code point policy for the traffic class. Policy, shows the policy, if any, applied to the class. Partition, the minimum and maximum amount of bandwidth allocated. Hits, the number of times flows match the traffic class. Current BPS, the current rate values in bits per second. 1 min BPS, last minute's average rate. Peak BPS, the current peak values. Packet Shaper offers three techniques for controlling your traffic to ensure quality of service. Policies. A policy determines how a class's individual flows are treated in the context of competing traffic and allows you to manage bandwidth on a flow-by-flow -flow basis. With policies, you can give each flow of mission-critical traffic the bandwidth it needs for optimum performance, as well as protect it from greedy, less important traffic. In addition, policies can keep non-urgent traffic flows, such as FTP, from consuming more than an appropriate share of bandwidth. DSCP. Network routers can apply differentiated grades of service to packet streams based on a diff-serve code point marker and an IP packet header. Packet Shaper is able to mark applications with a specific DSCP marker, 0 to 63. Partitions. A partition manages bandwidth for a traffic class's aggregate flows so that all the flows for the class are controlled together as one. You can use partitions to protect mission-critical traffic by guaranteeing that a traffic class always gets a defined amount of bandwidth. In addition, you can use partitions to limit aggressive, non-critical traffic by allowing that traffic class to consume only a defined amount of bandwidth. Controlling bandwidth allocation for today's traffic diversity is a combination of an art and a learned skill. Using the Packet Shaper provides invaluable insight and management capabilities, allowing you to achieve maximum efficiency for your network and organization. By using a rate policy for a class, you can ensure that a session gets its fair share of bandwidth. You can also prevent a flow from unfairly impacting other applications. A rate policy is especially suited for traffic that tends to burst. For example, let's look at YouTube consuming over 90% of our available bandwidth. If shaping is not enabled, YouTube can scale to fill our pipe. Using traffic management, we can see that YouTube has consumed over 65 megabytes of bandwidth and we need to get that under control. We can search for YouTube and other applications or categories by name or sort the data by peak BPS and determine the top offenders. Once you select the class, you can view a report for the individual class or application and then click on Policy Manager to build a policy to control this traffic. A policy determines how an application's individual flows are treated in the context of competing applications and allows you to manage bandwidth management on a flow-by-flow -flow basis. With policies, you can give each flow of mission-critical traffic the bandwidth it needs for optimum performance, as well as protect it from greedy, less important traffic. Using a rate policy for YouTube allows us to determine the amount of bandwidth that can be used. Once the policy is created, we can turn shaping on. You can see an immediate impact on YouTube and the ability to prevent users from consuming the entire connection with recreational video. Most IT shops and security vendors don't get it. They think security is about what you prevent. At Bluecoat, we believe security is more than about what you prevent. We believe it's about what you make possible. 
we offer a whole new outlook on how security technology provides business value. It's called Business Assurance Technology. Blue Coat empowers enterprises to safely and securely choose the best applications, services, devices, data sources, and content the world has to offer so they can create, communicate, collaborate, innovate, execute, compete, and win in their markets. Blue Coat has a long history of protecting organizations, their data, and their employees, and is the trusted brand to 15,000 customers worldwide. 86% of the Fortune Global 500 and Tier 1 telcos are long-standing customers, in addition to top governmental agencies around the globe. With over 200 patents, a global infrastructure that analyzes over 1 billion web requests daily, and support centers for every geography, Blue Coat is well positioned to help your company succeed. Packet Shaper's policies let enterprises allocate bandwidth at the application and content level. You can guarantee that mission critical applications get priority over less important traffic, or reserve specific amounts of traffic for those key applications. In combination or alternatively, administrators can configure policies to cap or throttle recreational traffic, such as peer to peer, internet radio, streaming video, to contain the impact on the network. The Packet Shaper can be deployed in any environment to solve a host of business challenges and network issues. A large banking institution using Packet Shaper to allocate bandwidth fairly among users of virtual desktop infrastructure. A pharmaceutical company that uses Packet Shaper to contain the amount of bandwidth that recreational traffic consumes. A retail company that uses Packet Shaper for assuring bandwidth and performance of its point of sale systems. A government agency that uses Packet Shaper to enable and scale social networking. When social networking was first allowed, it drove up bandwidth demand by 25%. So that's how Packet Shaper works and how our customers use it. It's a great tool for the enterprise to understand what is consuming network capacity and to align resources with the enterprise priorities. It's a critical piece of Blue Coat's portfolio to enable the best applications, devices, and networks to empower enterprise innovation. In closing, Blue Coat makes it possible for businesses to securely use the best technologies the world has to offer.